Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Tomo from Limaki, Australia. Uh, today, in a weekly technical webinar from Limaki, Australia's technical team, <clears throat> I would like to uh, you know, go over the more fundamental uh, <clears throat> the fundamental ex uh, experience uh, in regards to the multi-layer printing. So the last week in the webinar, if you go back to the uh, if you go back to uh, the YouTube uh, the the YouTube and my uh, uh, my channel and look at the last week webinar regards to uh, how you can how you can create the five layer printing job. Um, well, you know there was some issue last week, so the raster link uh, raster link didn't. Um, Raster link didn't uh, proceed as the five layer job as we want to. So today I'd like to go back to you know, start from fundamental what is multi layer printing is, and uh, we wanna you know I'd like to do a demo again regards to see how you create a five layer printing from a from a scratch designing from scratch. All right, this webinar is recording and please mute your microphone and thank you for joining again. And uh, you know, I'd like to start. Uh, let me turn off my camera as well. All right, first of all, uh, you can study, well, you can look at the, uh, lots of webinars and so on, but then you can study the fundamental regards to what is multi-layer printing from our multi printing uh, you know, the guide from Mimaki. If you don't know how to download, it, it is easy. You can just go to um, uh, the search, um, Maki Multi-Layer uh, Printing. So it will guide you, you know, where you can find the top of the, you know, the search, the UCJB 300 Multi-Layer Printing Guide. So this Multi-Layer Printing Guide is telling you uh, the lots of the method how you can do the four layer printing and five layer printing. All right, I'm starting from fundamental today. So regards to the uh, you know the what is multi layer printing. <clears throat> All right, the multi layer printing what it is is uh, basically. That it is printing more than two layers on the same position of the media. If you count the individual layers, either the uh, individual layers as a media layer or you know the ink layer, it is uh, you know this photo is you know the talking. This photo is showing what the, how the four layer printing uh, works. So there's a media which is the bottom layer of the light blue. And you've got first layer, first layer which is uh, you know, the green, second layer which is white, the third layer with uh, you know the light uh, light orange, and last layer is orange. Well, it's not the exact ink color to print, but it's just showing how the multi layer uh, works. And as you know, the Mimaki printer and the Mimaki software raster ink does support you know output to the print on the file up to five layers. <clears throat> All right, single layer stands for the, you know, it's only a CMYK printing or mostly for the white printing, uh, sorry, white media printing. So you know, only printing a CMYK on white media. The two layers printing is basically for either the window film application, you can print a you know, color layer and a uh, uh, color layer and a uh, white layer as a, the, as a backside, as a back order. So that way you can see through the, uh, you know, uh, the graphic through the transparent media because there is uh, the additional white layer on the back side of the uh, window graphic. Or you can print white first and uh, color second as the, you know, for example, printing on the uh, multiple, the multiple colors, uh, the material, such as a promotional printing. If you print on the, your logo on the, uh, you know, silver material, or the gold material or the black material, you are supposed to print with a white and the color on the top of it. So that's basically two colors. So two color has a two ways, white, uh, white color or color in white. 
The three layers printing we supporting either with UCJV300 and UJV55. That basically prints color, white, and color. So how that works is the, you know, on the data is that you basically print on the, uh, uh, the transparent media or either translucent media. So how that works is that you basically install that into the, uh, uh, the backlit, the, the, backlight, the light box as a backlight film. And during the daytime, there is a sunlight you know, from external and the light is off from the uh, you know, light box. So you can see the pure, the surface color because there's a white background. However, you know, if you switch on the uh, you know, light box during the night time, what's going to happen is the uh, light is actually, you know, the, you know, lighting through the uh, first layer of the color through the, uh, you know, the second layer of white. So that means that you will get the, uh, you know, the double strike effect of the color. So if you have experience looking at the uh, um, the, the light box application with either fabric or the banner material or translucent material as a backlit, so you will see the uh, you know the color is popping up because uh, you know there is a two two times denser image. However, the backlight is actually lighting through the color, so that way you can still see the natural tone of the color during the backlit. So three layer printing is basically you can get, the, you can see the, uh, you know, doesn't matter if this is a daylight or the backlit from a night time, you can expect they are very much similar color on the front lit and the backlit application. All right, here is a trick in regards to the four layer printing. I will talk about four layer printing now. The four layer printing is basically what we call day and night, uh, the day and night banner application. What it is, is the, I know, well, <clears throat> the three layer printing basically we call as the day and light printing. So during a daylight and uh, nighttime light, you know, you can get the same, uh, you know, color result because there is a sandwich, two layer sandwich with a white. Okay, for the, again, for, for layer printing, we call this as a day and night printing. Please do not mix with the day and light. Uh, four layer printing is again called as the day and night printing. What it does is basically you have a you know the two different image, but you know it's similar design. So for example, this design example, there's a lady with a dress, right? The one image has a you know, white dress on the image, and the other image, you know, there's a, exactly the same shape of the lady and same shape of the dress. However, you can see the different color on the dress, the white on the white on the first layer and uh, dark red on the second layer. All right, and uh, for printing, we basically print uh, you know, the white you know, behind the you know, front layer, front layer graphic, also the black layer on the front of the back layer printing. So how this work is basically, when you have the you know, lighter image on the front side, which is the fourth layer, and you've got the, you know, the back side with a darker color, denser color, which is a faster layer, which is on the media. Right? What's going to happen is that during the light, during the night, uh, during the daytime, the you know, daylight is, you know, the lighting, lighting only the fast layer, because there is only a front layer and white layer on the black layer. So there's nothing to obstruct, nothing to see through the last layer to go through the black layer to see through during the during the daytime. So that way you can, you know, you can exactly see the you know the color of the white lady, white lady, um, lady with white dress. All right, here's a trick. When you when it gets to the night time and the people turn on the you know the light in the light box, what is gonna happen is that there's a light goes through and uh, you know basically what it does is that it actually lighting this is a fourth layer, well, this first, first layer image, which is the lady with you know, the, 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 evening, the evening sky and the dark red. And it actually you know, going, the, you know, uh, the light is actually you know, passing through the black layer, also the white layer. And you can see, you know, first layer, the, sorry, the last layer of the lady has got the very light color of the sky 
and the white dress, what's going to happen is that this blue color on the behind the first layer, the behind the behind the black layer, is actually you know gliding through and reaching to the last layer. So that means you can see slightly blue color, the dark blue color on the uh, the 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 at the background. Also, this uh, dark red color, you know, simply goes through by a uh, light. So you can see this uh, first layer lady even has the uh, red dress. You know, the red color you know, went through the you know the went through to the you know, black and white layer, and you can see the uh, totally different color of the uh, design that you know went through from uh, you know the first layer the the image on the behind. So by saying that this application, we have been spending hard time where the market, where the industry work with this application. For example, if you go to the cosmetic store of the department, uh, for example, the uh, David Jones or those uh, shops, you can find lots of light box in the cosmetic area. But you know that these days cosmetic areas are uh, the structure and the and the, you know the banner only only says the uh, uh, the manufacturer's name the brand name of their cosmetic. So I think having a graphic on there, I think it's worth it for the application. However, it is still early days that the people like uh, you know the apply the uh, you know graphic even the you know complicated graphic into the. Uh, into the uh, you know the light box application in a, in a, the store, so I still believe that the, this application has the you know, potential to go to the market. However, you know we uh, we just spending hard time to find uh, you know potential customer to use it for uh, yeah use it from uh, tomorrow, such and such. Right, that's basically the idea of the uh, you know fourth layer, the four layer you know, day and night printing. And I'd like to move to the five layer printing now. All right, let me just, uh, sorry, but before we go to five layer, you know, we kind of have the, uh, you know, a good example in here. The other reason of the uh, why the fourth, uh, four printing, uh, the four layer printing, you know, didn't become so popular is because of how much it's complicated to design it. It really depends on the, uh, you know, the graphic you have and uh, you know, what you want to achieve. But remember that the, you know, the second layer, you know, top of the, uh, this uh, darker file, you need to have the, uh, uh, the black plate, which we specifically calling this as a shading plate, which is you know, the trying to interrupt the light from the backside. Look at the, this example of the uh, the shading plate. So this shading plate is not exactly the uh, you know the gray color, you know, gray plate. However, you know it's actually uh, extracting the line of the uh, this shape of the lady. Why do we need to do this? All right, here is some uh, you know the reason that we need to extract the shape of the lady rather than the you know just having uh, one sim uh, simple shading plate. With 100% well, for the 50% of the black. The reason is the I know the how much denser, how much of the density from the you know the first layer, which is a darker image, you'd like to affect for the fourth layer of the uh, you know image. For for example, the this red color is already easy. To, you know, it, it, it's easy to, you know, go through to the, uh, you know, the go through to the, uh, uh, the white layer. Because it's a white in here. So that's the reason we actually using this as the, we, are, we actually using this um, an extraction to put, uh, you know, to extract the, uh, you know, shape of the, uh, you know, dress to, you know, make it easy to go through the, you know, the red color to the, uh, to the uh, white. All right then, what is the reason that they are we would like to have their still a gray color, black, uh, black 30%, black 50% on their background? That is because, you know, the how much it's, you know, it's, you know, we need to take this out because, you know, this uh, dark blue is easily 
you know, going through to the, uh, you know, the, those, uh, background, the background image for the sky, comparing to a red color to a you know, white dress. That's why we like to kind of adjust the amount of the color on the behind goes through to the uh, you know, front layer. All right, so, you know, that's the reason we need to, you know, sometimes extract the shape of the where we want to, you know, affect the color better and, uh, you know, the less, the more and less. To do this, we, the Mimaki do not have the, you know, the software capability to do the, uh, you know, the, you know, to extract those, uh, you know, the vector, the vector line from the, uh, uh, from the design. So you need to, you know, use the, the function and the capability from uh, you know either Adobe Illustrator or uh, you know uh, the Photoshop in order to extract the shape and convert this to the vector because on the end we need to tell this as the black some percent so we cannot have this as the uh, you know the raster you know, photograph file or the bitmap file as a RGB so we need to have the uh, you know, have this as the you know, black some percent as a vector file. So on the end, you get the, uh, you know, the without, uh, you know, this is a difference, you know, with cutout, if you've got those extraction, you can get the, uh, you know, this, um, you know, the outlined uh, example, the screenshot. But if you do not have this uh, extraction, this is how you will get it. So it's really, you know, that depends on the, your design. And we can say, you know, hey, it's simply extract, you know, this type of the uh, design. But you know the you know design the 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 uh, graphic designer needs to have some type of the idea how you know they are extracting those uh, you know files. All right, comparing to the uh, four color four layer printing, I think you know we are you know more popular with the five layer printing. All right, five layer is the maximum layout you know we can print with the uh, you know, UCJV 300 wall, wall pet printer, and UCJV 300 is only the printer supporting the two printer five layer printing, uh, the supporting five layer printing on uh, you know one job you know one scanning one scan printing. You can do five layers with JFX 200 and the UC, uh, UJF 6042 and 3042 by uh, you know, extracting, by uh, you know, importing, designing individual layers and importing to raster link and combining to a five layer printing. However, it does not, this flatbed printer is not capable to, you know, that do the five layer printing in one scan. So, however, those flatbed printer can print or can combine the white and white and color in the first layer and uh, you know, second layer to be black and white and such and such automatically, as long as you're telling what's the order you want to print. But UCJV 300 is only the printer that's the, uh, um, the five layer printing on the one scan. But how that works is basically, you know, it works for the, you know, as a double side effect, you know, window graphic. So the media needs to be always either transparent or translucent. Because uh, this uh, five layer printing is basically the front side, you know, the front side image is to be viewed from only front side, and the back side image is to be viewed from uh, you know, behind the media, which is the back side of the uh, you know, design. However, instead of the you know the sign writers, you know, printing sign writers people. Uh, instead of they are installing their different graphic on uh, inside of the window graphic or uh, inside of the window and outside of the window, you can do this, you know, the five layer printing onto the uh, one piece of the media. Uh, so you can get the uh, you know, double side printing effect. Or right, how it works is basically, you know, the, it, it is important to have a black and this black needs to be, you know, between 60% to 100% depends on how dense your image is, and how much you know, how much you want to you know avoid the black comes through to the you know black comes to the front side, and how much you can allow the front side image is you know going through to the back side image. However, I always do you know black to be you know hundred percent to be easy. There's a white layer on the 
front side or behind the black layer. This white printing is basically to be the back, uh, to be an under plot of the, uh, this front side image and the back side image. So comparing to what's the, you know, how the white, uh, the, how the four layer day and night printing application work, there's lots of demand for five layer printing. So the people, you know, has got their job opportunity. I mean, the, you know, the application job, uh, you know, demand opportunity for window graphics for the you know, shopping center or uh, the supermarket or uh, uh, the cafe or uh, the station anywhere involved for the uh, window graphics. There's opportunity to you know, add the value of the and you know, what they are doing with a five layer printing. So the five layer printing, you know, what to do, uh, you know, the, how you can, you know, the, do the design on the, uh, you know, design before printing, you have basically two methods. You have basically do, uh, do uh, have a two methods to do the, uh, you know, the five layer printing. So this is what I'd like to show today. So you can do, you know, first, first method you can do with rastering tool. So having rastering tool, which is a plugin software for Adobe Illustrator, you can import uh, you know, two, uh, the two image, which is for one for the front side and one for back side. And you can create automatically the white layer and the black layer, which is called uh, you know, the shading plate. The other method we have is simply you can do without, uh, you know, rust, without using rastering. In that way, what you can do is uh, you just create the uh, you know, front layer image, back side layer image. Also, you can create the you know, black 100% of the you know, rectangle, and you can import for three times into a rastering. And within rastering, you can replace the color of the rectangle, either the white 100% or changing to you know, shading plate. Right? And you can combine the five jobs in the rastering. All right, so not using rastering tool, however, still using rastering. All right, so today I'd like to show you, because you know the, we, we had uh, some errors in the last week, I'd like to show you the step-by-step uh, -step as a demo regards to you know, how you can do you know, this work with the uh, rastering tool. All right, let me just switch the, uh, my uh, computer to uh, application computer to continue. All right, here what I'm show what I'm showing is okay. We've got the Mimaki logo and the white background. I'd like to you know put as the uh, uh, I'd like to put as the uh, uh, you know, first layer because I'd like to put this uh, uh, you know Mimaki design as the uh, you know outside of the uh, you know the window. So the people you know the walk the walk across the window they will say hey this is Mimaki. This is Mimaki, uh, Mimaki uh, the office, Mimaki premises. The back side, I would like to back side, which is uh, the inside, you know, inside the graphic, which I would like to put anything we want, like the, you know, the pretty picture of the photo or uh, something with, you know, something with, how you say, like something simple as the, you know, just our friend graphic that you know, our employees or sometimes the customer walking in and walks in and they will see the they will see the design in the inside of the building. But what we do is you know, we just do from scratch. Okay. Let me just delete start from scratch. What we do is the uh, you know uh, I would just you know, start from uh, the Mimaki logo. And uh, my artboard window is A4, so let me just adjust this to be uh, to uh, A4 size or less than smaller than A4 size. If you wanna make it bigger, you know, the bigger template, you can just expand within the rastering. So I'm just uh, you know sticking with the A4 at this moment. My artboard, uh, my, uh, my artboard. Or on the back side, what I'd like to do is I'd like to get the uh, strawberry. 
totally photo that you know the we can see from the uh, inside of the building inside of the uh, let me just adjust this uh, All right, if you do that, you know, the, we've got the Mimaki logo here and we've got the you know, strawberry here. All right, at this moment, Mimaki logo becomes underneath of the, uh, underneath of the, uh, um, the strawberry, which is fine. All right, the next step, what we do is the, you know, the before we creating, uh, you know, white and, uh, white and black layer from rastering tool, we need to move two images in a different layer. It is important process, so you know, please do not uh, forget about it. So what we do, it is not the you know, Adobe Illustrator training, but uh, you know, if you have the layer window, you can play at the layer. If you do not see a layer window, you can open from a window menu, and there's a layers to open the layer window. To me personally, in order for, well, you know, I've been doing Illustrator for you know, more than 10 years at this moment, what I always have here is the, I've got a navigator window. The navigator window, how useful it is, is that we can just uh, zoom down and zoom out and zoom up to the you know, from and to, to the artboard. So for example, if you, for example, if you do not know what the actual size of the image, and if you've got the artboard size of A4, if you are designing, you just import it. Let's say it's a you know, standard window graphic, which is a three meters by two meters. That way, you know, you need to shrink the, you know, the size, but in order to shrink the size, it is, you know, the useful if you just zoom down like this. So you will see entire, you know, image and you can just, you know, drag to, you know, you can just drag the size to the, uh, uh, to make it to the size you want. So that's the reason I would like a uh, you know, navigator window. If you do not have a navigator window, you can open navigator window from window menu. The other option I've got is a layer window. The layer window is very important to have for you know uh, either doing a uh, you know the print and cut work, you know print and cut design, as well as the uh, you know the rastering tool design for uh, you know multiple layers. Also, the, cut, the color layer, color layer is important to have also because we would like to have like, you know, for, uh, uh, you know, creating cutting path, you know, you need to make, you need to make sure that the cutting path has the spot color name of control cut, so such and such. So this is the three, uh, you know, the basic window I always, I always open when I work for the, uh, you know, the design, not really design, but I uh, you know, work for the, uh, um, you know, making a design to for printing or, uh, you know, those applications. Uh, by the way, you know, let's go back to layers window and uh, click menu and select a new layer. It doesn't matter what's the, uh, you know, the name and so on. I just put the uh, layer two. And what you need is that you need to move either the, First, uh, the first data, the first design, which is a strawberry, or the second de design of the uh, you know, Mimaki. Doesn't matter which one, uh, which one to move, because we can move the layer, you know, up and down later on. But for at this moment, I'm gonna just move the you know, Mimaki on the top and the strawberry on the bottom. But we can always change like this, so Mimaki becomes. But at this moment. You need to start thinking about which image, which image goes to the you know the see through outside, which is the first layer of the uh, so first layer of a five layer, because the first layer becomes the uh, automatically reversed when you uh, when you output from rastering to to rastering software. So and once you decide the uh, you know, what will be the uh, you know the first layer which is for the out from outside view of the media, uh, put that uh, you know, first layer of into the bottom of bottom of the layer window. Right? At this moment we've got only layer one and layer two. So I just put the layer two, which is the Mimaki logo, on the bottom of the layer.
That way, the fast, the, which means the first layer of the media will be automatically reversed when you open to the last one. Try the next step. Once you prepare the layer one and layer two, the next step is go to a Mimaki rastering tool and click the button on the left bottom side, right? Which sounds like which has the uh, you know the rectangle, the diamond shape of the uh, white and the uh, white and the black, and it it's got a um, plus mark. All right. Once you click that, it comes with the you know, one menu saying. Create the layer necessary for multi layer printing. Select the total layer for data being created. At this moment, you have a choice of a three layer, four layer, and a five layer. And it will just create the you know, necessary white layer and black layer as needed. All right, once you click a five layer and done, look at the, you know, this layer window. What's happened here in a layer window is you've got the, uh, uh, you know, between layer one and layer two, it's got a two yellow layer, which says a white on the layer name. And on the middle, you've got a black layer. All right. This is all you need to, uh, it needs to be done for the, uh, you know, this, uh, uh, for this, uh, you know, rustering. Um, the creation for five layer, three to multi layer printing. All right, after that, you need to go to the, uh, you know, the multi layer printing output menu. All right, click on output menu. What you see is the, uh, you've got the left, left side preview, you've got entire image display, and, uh, you know, you have a menu of either cancel or output. This menu, preview menu, and entire image display is enabled when you choose the four layer printing. All right, later on, if I have a time allow, you know, I can do the you know, four layer printing step to see what will be what will be on preview and uh, display. But the five layer printing is not showing. So I'm gonna just you know, select output. Once you click the output, what you need to do is, well, normally, what you need is you just need to tell what is the hot folder to extract this five layer file, right? Just to be the I've already selected the I know UCJB 300 eight color test hot folder, which refers to the uh, which refers by uh, you know rastering six uh, UCJB 300 eight color test printer, right? For the work, let me just delete this just to be easy. Let me just delete what's existing and I will just start from scratch. I'm going to just say, you know, uh, find the main test, test five layer. And you say, when you save it, just be sure that the, you, know, you are selecting EPS or PDF. This time I will do PDF because I've got the first layer of a Mimaki logo. Mimaki logo did not have the same origin of the object as the other file, but you know, we refer to the, you know, artboard, the artboard, entire artboard size and the position for the illustrator for the design. So if you want to refer to artboard as the, you know, the graphic origin, make sure you choose PDF, right? If you're only doing a photo, two photographs, which has the same size and the same origin, you can choose the EPS, right? And you just click uh, save. And there's another menu comes up, you know, save printing areas outboard or save printing area according to a uh, clipping mask and object, all right? I will do first one because I do not use a clipping mask. A clipping mask. And then the raster link will just move, uh, you know, so illustrator just move a little bit weird for a couple of seconds. And then the rastering six plus, you know, automatically load what's in the, uh, the what's in the, uh, you know, the hot folder. And it automatically starts, you know, extracting. So this is the important. Just give me a couple of moments. 
That's the one I need to say I'm not doing. Okay. Cannot mute the hot topology. Okay, we try. Maybe something happening. Just hope. I think there was the, uh, some, uh, you know, the file left, so you know, it just did something wrong. So let me just delete once and do it again. Apologize for that. Again, this is how complicated to do the, uh, you know, well, as much as the layer number increase, it becomes more complicated. So let me just redo it again. So that to choose PDF. Should start in the same. Yeah, sorry, yeah, it's just did something wrong back then. Uh, right, supposed to do the uh, let me show you what's the uh, shape which we need. Well, you know, I've done this in the last link. Seven as well. So what should happen is the uh, we've got the uh, you know, first layer. Well, so sorry, the first layer is this. So the first layer we've got the uh, um, you know the the first image, and we've got the last image as well. And in the middle we've got the uh, you know the black hundred percent layer, and which also says a shading plate. Because without changing this to shading plate, you cannot combine for you cannot you know the include into a five layer printing. So that's the reason it says shading plate rather than color. And those you know yellow file, the yellow layer, yellow layer which says white, is automatically converting to white image here. Okay, uh, then let me try this again to make this, uh, move this to the uh, rastering seven. I go to the same output and go to a rastering seven hot folder, the MRJ control, uh, going to hot folder, UCJ this 300. Just to test. Nothing. Just need to. But it's definitely something coming, but I cannot move the file. Put the folder. 
cannot create a job test inside the room. So it was working last week. I'm not sure why it's not working. Let me just, uh, you know, do, well, what's differently what I'm doing is the, uh, you know, well, I was doing, you know, just a file, not a Mimaki logo, but just doing an original file. So let me just try. Somehow this file. Right, I'm going to open the uh, this um, a family photo, and I'm going to move uh, make this uh, you know the fifth day as a family photo, and then try to. I'm going to do again is a raster link seven PDF. But then somehow something is, you know, remaining on the PDF on the photo folder. Um, if there's some file left on the PDF, uh, something, some left, some file is left unread in a photo folder, uh, it will make the, you know, the different result, of course. So you need to go to a photo folder. Where the hot folder is, the hot folder is located under the C drive where the raster link is installed. So raster link seven, it's under MIJ control. So go to MIJ control and select hot. And uh, yes, there are three files you know, still left for unlet. And let me just delete also the uh, under MIJ suite is for raster link six. Go to hot folder. It's empty. Just a uh, link. See if it works. And somehow it's something wrong. I cannot move the file from a photo folder to a job folder. All right, well, uh, you know, that's not probably worth to the troubleshoot. So, what I'm going to tell you now is, uh, you know, basically uh, what, a, what a rustering tool is doing, you know, for you know, how the rastering tool is supporting to import those files to the uh, raster link as the five layer printing, right? What I will try for you is, uh, okay, we've got a five layer file here. Just delete. Okay, we've got a five layer printing file. And instead of, you know, we are exporting this to um, a hot folder, I will just do this under download. And uh, let's say five layer test. And with PDF and space. All right, when exporting from a raster link, I'm gonna just show you how the folder file looks like. After the export. So I've got just yeah, download file, download folder. 
example, and we look at here, you know, there are five PDF files ex, uh, extracted from our rastering tool. And each folder name has a five layer test, which is the, uh, you know, the, the, you know, the name of the project, which, you know, when outputting outputs to a uh, raster link. And it's got the RL layer 05. This RL layer 05, this is the name of the command that the, uh, when the raster link with this file, the file name, it's telling him that it's telling the raster link that the, uh, this needs to be on you know, five files put together. And it's got uh, you know, uh, the six digit, which is a uh, uh, time, the hour, minutes, and second, as they are to show that they are, you know, they are the one set of the file. And it's got 0 02, 0 01, 0 02, 0 03, 0 02, uh, sorry, 0 01, 0 02, 0 03, 0 04, and 0 05. It's showing what the number of the layer these uh, PDF files should go. So the first layer, okay, is this. The second layer is still yellow, right? However, because the second layer of the uh, the five layer printing should be should be white, so rastering already knows that, and it's automatically converting it as soon as you. Uh, import to raster link. And what's important is the fifth layer. All right, the fifth layer uh, is a strawberry, all right? So, and uh, what's going to happen in the uh, raster link or the six or seven is the uh, the last layer which is imported. If you go to the, uh, you know, composition. Here, the, which is the first layer, which is the uh, the bottom layer of the uh, bottom layer of the uh, Illustrator design is automatically reversed. Right? By looking at the uh, you know, job list, it's not reversed, but at least it's reversed from the uh, you know from our uh, output. And if you go to here, if you go to a job preview, you can only see the front side uh, the front side uh, object. So you are not able to confirm uh, visibly that the last layer, the first layer is reversed. However, the the first layer is reversed automatically. All right, I will do my work later on why it's not doing the uh, this five layer printing, which you know, which it didn't in uh, the Monday last week. But I know in a Tuesday last week after I updated the uh, you know rastering six to version two point fourteen, it starts doing it. So I knew that the, there was a version problem on a two point ten. So but uh, today in somehow it's not doing what I need to do. So I just need to do some more study. All right. Uh, I would like to just uh, finish the recording for today. Uh, yes, I went over.